Hello everybody, this is Damien Plays Memoir 44 and this is Mission 23, Matanakau River. Matanakau River. That's what I'm going with, Matanakau River. <laughs> um, so, we'll go over the briefing and the rules and then we'll get straight into it. So, uh, I'm again going to be the Japanese uh, army and uh, in this map the Japanese only went 32% of the time. So that's... Um, that's great, something to look forward to. Uh, but Japanese player takes six command cards and wheels first, US player takes six command cards. Conditions of victory are five medals, and I can capture these two for extra medals, but uh, the likelihood of that happening is quite slim, but sure, we'll see. Um, Imperial Japanese Army command rules are in effect, US command rules are in effect. Formidable, affordable stream, I'll just check that now, and jungles, I'll check that in a minute. So, from the map, it looks fairly even. Uh, I have a bit of armor, which is good also, but uh, it's jungles and rivers, so maybe armor ain't gonna be so good in this one. And I have an exit thing. Oh, sorry, maybe I should read this bit. Uh, each Japanese is not across the through is removed from play. Oh, so if I go through this area and get to any other side, I uh, the unit gets removed from play, but I get a medal. So yeah, okay. Uh, like I said, the likelihood of that happening is very slim, but uh, sure we'll get into it. Oh, sorry, the historical context. A four-pronged Japanese pl uh, plan to attack and recapture Henderson Field on Guadalcanal was scheduled for October 26 or 22nd, 1942. The main force, 7,000 men under the command of General Maruyama, planned to approach the airfield from the south but found itself quickly bogged down in very difficult jungle terrain, forcing a two-day postponement to, to the attack. Unaware of the delay, the tanks and the infantry of Major General Sumiyoshi and the mouth of the Mat at the mouth of the Matanakao River and Colonel Okaz forces positioned upstream, crossed the river on schedule and soon found themselves stuck in the riverbed under a withering crossfire of US artillery and anti-tunk anti-tunk? Anti-tunk? <laughs> Anti-tank gunfire that wreaked havoc on them. On the western flank, Lieutenant General Chesty Puller and his first battalion, seventh Marines, with the second battalion, seventh infantry in support, held ground once again. By battle's end, over 1,000 Japanese soldiers lay dead. The stage is set, the battle lines are drawn, you are in command. The rest is history. I really hope I don't run into any of them anti tunk rifles. <laughs> okay, so I go first. I go first. Is it me or did the map seem a lot smaller for this? I don't know, maybe it's just me. I think it is just me. Uh, okay, so let's see what I can do. I've got probing center, pincer movement. Oh, I just want to check about the... No. Jungles. Units must stop. Um, units moving into battle if... Uh, uh, unit moving into... May, oh, main battle if it's an adjacent unit. That's fine. Um, vehicles may do armor overruns. And... Blocks on the side. Okay. And four little streams. Uh, must stop. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll do a pincer movement. I'll move these two and I'll move I'll order these two no these two okay done get in there get in there you can stay there and get in there okay movement's done foul okay Me over with. Realistically, I actually should change Herman back to uh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny Kadef. <laughs> yeah, I should change Herman back because we're playing Japanese versus US. So, what's he doing? He's doing a salt in the center. God. Nice pulling troops back. 
we don't retreat. Japanese don't retreat. And, ugh. Okay. I actually might do an assault in the center. Counter attack though. Okay. Yeah. So move these guys up. And okay. Ballin. Okay. Uh, try to get this squad. No. Nope. Oh my god, it waits a lot on that squad. <laughs> Alright. Suppose I'll have to get the armor up too. I just don't see armor being very useful in this mission. Meh. It'll be a little bit useful, but it's going to slow down a lot, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, it's made a smart decision. I might spread my armor out. I might bring one armor into this flank. I need one armor in this flank. Okay, so probably like so I might bring one armor. Yeah, I might put one armor there and put one armor there. Okay. See, it's not gonna be that useful. Okay. He's dead. That guy's dead as door now. <laughs> so we can force. I can see why the Americans will win this a lot of the time. It's very they're very dug in. But there's a lot of slowing down in the Japanese. Like in the last mission. Now I know the 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 last mission which was um Wake Island. I know the Japanese had overwhelming forces, but there was a lot of slowdown to try and get them into position. I know they had the advantage, you know, but Oh yeah. Oh you messed that one up and lost. So that's two squads, yeah, two squads killed on my side. Oh, I don't see me doing well in this one at all. I might get two medals if I'm lucky. Now, you see, he made a little bit of a mistake there. Or, maybe not, we'll see. But, moving his forces into my um, area might have been a mistake. This is not the center. No. Right flank. Okay. Ah, come on. Bloody hell. Uh, yeah, take ground. Oh, direct from HQ. Hmm. Interesting. I might move my artillery up into a better position. Direct from HQ. Hi. Oh, 
Okay. At least we don't run. Alright, that's going me. Didn't really go his way, so loaded up. I am gonna use Dragon HQ. Now Right, I'm gonna select these two, try and get into better positions. I'm gonna select him, try and kill that. And I'm gonna select one of these guys. Okay, done. Yeah, okay, done. Okay, and it's all the movement done. That one doesn't really matter which one to go for. Oh god, no. okay. They could have stayed there, they didn't have to retreat. That was interesting. Okay, it's one for me. Yes, we're gonna have to try and get forces across the river, so yeah. He's gonna bomb the crap out of these guys. Damn it. Good hit. Jesus. He would have wiped out a whole squad. Like from, from the start. Uh, I think he got up. Oh no. Okay. Uh, just before I go on, I'm just going to double check the sound. Yeah, we're all good. Yeah. So. Back in the center, okay. So I'm gonna get these guys and one of them, okay. Yeah, go on, we have to check and use cross river, okay. Ugh. I've gotten three stars in them, guys, for God's sake. Like, <laughs> Fair by a lottery ticket when they get home. They're the luckiest squad in the world. See, this is the unfortunate Well, not the unfortunate thing. This is just how, <laughs> how battles are. Jesus Christ, this guy's so lucky with this dice. This is how battles are. Um, you know, this is how tactics work. But, um, you mean, they're, like, they're dug in. They don't have to go anywhere. But I have to... Get the hell up. Attack left flank, left flank, left flank. Probe center, okay. So that's two. Two units in the center, okay. Go on, go up there. Get stairs. Oh yeah, I get an extra die for oh, close come. Oh my god, this is actually hard to watch. It's just like <laughs> to just keep uh, keep dodging my hits. Armors. Oh, we just can't pick one unit. Oh yeah, and because they're. US Marines. Oh my god. Are you serious? Like, every time he rolls the dice, he's getting full. Look at this crap. The last five or six times he's rolled the dice, he's been getting full kills. Like, uh, yeah. Oh. It's nonsense, I tell you. Sometimes it really does feel like, oh, uh, like it's so stacked against you, like. I don't mean tactics or anything, I mean the actual game is stacked against you.
Okay. Well, he only needs to get one more kill and then he wins, so. I don't. Okay. Okay. Now they set themselves up in positions where I can kick their ass back. Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll do a. Hold on. All in tree and yeah, okay. That's three units. I can order. Or I can do a counter attack for four units. I'll do a close side. Okay. Done. Battle. See Japanese getting extra die in close assault also, so that's a real good advantage. And you're only gonna get two dice with these guys. Oh no way. All you have to do is take out this guy and he wins, so He's gonna focus all his fire on this one guy. I'd say. Oh, well, he moved that so he can't fire it off. He doesn't need to. Yeah. Oh, look again. Jesus Christ. Three bloody full. Full kill dice again. Oh my god. Um. Joe, you know the mission actually wasn't that bad. It was a pretty good mission. But. No, there's no buts about it. It was actually a pretty good mission. But, uh. Holy hell, did he. Got <laughs> really lucky in that mission. He got a lot of kills in that mission. Um, he had what was it? So he rolled forty-nine dice, got twenty-four hits, and I rolled thirty-four dice, got twelve hits. So now there's uh, almost fifty percent hit rate for him. I got thirty-five percent. Um, yeah, it was it was the mission was fine. I done below average. Damn right, I done below average. Only got one medal. <laughs> um, the mission was okay. Um. It is uh, very much a pitch battle though, it's just one side versus the other, and as I said, the Japanese, well, I suppose it depends on what way you play it from, but if you're the Americans, you wouldn't really move out, you'd kind of stay where you are, and just try and pin the Japanese down. Uh, but yeah, oh, I did enjoy that mission. Um, so yeah, that is the end of Montanakau River. The next mission is called the Slopes of Mount Austin. So I hope you enjoyed watching me play, and I will see you in that mission, and as always... Thank you for watching.